All right, let's go over how to draw King Kong and uh, the, what's it called, the War Bat. So I'm gonna go over here. It's gonna be attacking each other. I'm gonna go over here for the back of King Kong's head first. It's gonna slope down. It's gonna slope down right into his brow, you know? Right here. Curl over here. Right here for the other side of his brow, the far side brow. Line over here for the top of the nose. Other top of the nose. Curve right there for the nostril. Curve right here for the nostril. And line over here in. Down and kind of curl over here into the eye because right there that's just the uh, it's not really the eye that is the kind of brow the dark side of the brow and I'm gonna fill this part in it's like deep brow right the way a lot of gorillas have and you're gonna see his eye like looking forward there <laughs> line underneath here. It's a little dark over there for the far side brow. Line here for the mouth. Kind of hair on that side. And for the mouth, he's going to have a pretty long mouth, but he's going to be opening his mouth like that. Down over here. Down over here for kind of those two canine areas. And then we're going to have, uh, oh, sorry, more flat teeth in the middle. Going to pull back, down. Line up over here, line over here. Curve. line over here and line underneath curve right here for kind of the bottom of the neck uh, the chin sorry and and let me curve back here for the back of the head all right we connect this here Let's go over here to his ear. His ear is going to be down here because he's aiming his head up. It's just like a square, like a marshmallow, right? Line here, line here, nothing wild, right? Just this, almost looks like an arrow. Talk about the inner ear area. area. And maybe some teeth there to kind of give it more dimension. Let's go over here to around his neck. And we're gonna have the uh, we're gonna have the war bat kind of wrapped around his neck right here. So it's gonna be wrapped around his neck right here, and then you have his arm over here on this side. He's got his arm up, and then his arm over here. We're gonna have it. Like he, it's up, so it's gonna be look like it's coming out of his mouth area. Okay. Let's go over here to the line here for the front of the face. Back, down. Over here, down. On open right there for the kind of wombat's mouth. And we're gonna have the teeth here. Line over here, pull down underneath. Line up. Down underneath here, back up for the jaw. So he's really got like a snake's face. <laughs> they have bigger teeth right here on the lower portion. And down over here, 
right there as well. Curve. Line over here back. And the nostril right there at the front. I like this curved eye that I did right there, just kind of make it look like the depths of the recesses of the eye, right? Like you can barely see the eye there. All right, good, good. Out over here for that winged area. But before that, I'm gonna go over here and draw, um, his arm's gonna go in here. His other arm's gonna come over here. And he's gonna be kinda, it's gonna be really close. Gonna be, he has his hand in the back of him. And we're gonna draw the curvature of the front of uh, the rest of his body there, very snake-like. All right, so we have that. Curve. Curve over here. some hair on the skin there. Curve on this side. And curve on this side just a bit. Kind of cutting off that area there. So he's really wrapped around him. And then here's maybe where his body shows a little bit. And I'm kind of throwing a little like zigzag there to show that this fur. Okay. So let's continue the center of his body right here. We have a little out more. And this is Kong's leg. And King Kong's the rest of his body over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow the wing area here. Kind of pulling it down right here. And it might be showing over here on this side, but he's kind of grabbing him around that side. So it's gonna be a little bit it's gonna show a little bit less. Down over here. Let's go underneath the arm over here. Underneath the arm. Gonna go over here and I'm gonna draw the rest of snake body. This guy or the wombat uh the warbat body. And I'm gonna have the tail come around here. The rest of them. Alright. And let's find his fist. His fist is gonna be probably one of the hardest things to do here. Let's go find a line up there. Sorry, I'm gonna be blocking my own drawing for a little bit. A line over here. Down, pull in, curve. Curve under here. Okay, and Curve around this side. And you got like some of his right snake like body around here. And I'm gonna pull up for the rest of that forearm right there. Uh, 
up, line up, line up. <clears throat> Curve underneath there. All right. So a lot of what's going to go on now is literally texture, you know? So right now we're like curve lines for underneath his snake belly. Right here as well. So this texture is going to be thinner, right? Like, for example, he's got hairy arms, right, in general. So we want to do that. And you're drawing thinner lines in order to create detail, right? That's literally what that is. It's the detailed portion of this. <clears throat> and it's fun to do, honestly. I find detail to be one of the funnest things you can possibly do to kind of finish off a certain drawing, and it kind of just ultimately brings it to life. And I love that stuff. And I don't know what you love, let me know in the comments section, what is the part of art that you like? Do you like the design part, like actually figuring out where things are gonna go? Do you actually like the shading? Or like what I'm doing now, like the detailed portion of it? Do you like the detailed aspect of the art more than you do kind of the construction and what the pose is gonna be and stuff like that? Because I've gone back and forth between both, I'll tell you that. And there's times in my life where I'm like, wow, I, don't care about design. I want to only shade. That was it. And then there's other times where I'm like backwards, right? Where I'm like, no, I, I want to see the placement. I want to, you know, what what's what's this going to look like? You know what I mean? What is that going to look like? <clears throat> um, and so like, again, you have to figure that out for yourself. I'm drawing these thin lines in the mouth because it's not going to be completely black, but it's in their mouth, right? So it's going to be a little, it's going to be darker, but not black. And we're using lines so much, right? I'm going to draw th th like a shadow right here underneath the, the I keep saying snake, but yeah, the snake-like body of the Warbat. Um, the curved lines over here for texture because it's going to be the same thing, right? We have this kind of texture... I'm drawing it really thin and really quick just for you to kind of get a uh, kind of a good handle on it, right? Which is my hope for you. Um, and then maybe over here as well. And you can kind of keep going on this. Like you can keep going with the... Uh, the detail stuff, maybe over here, a little fur right here, fur on this side. Usually a lot of it is on the edges because that's normally where um, kind of some details change. There's pectoralis here. Um, but but normally like some light will hit like on the fringe and you'll get a couple of like maybe thin, um, you'll get like a, like a light there and you kind of express that with this line. Right here, especially on the knuckles too. You can kind of always look at your own hand for a reference, um, or you can just kind of throw some. So well, the last thing I'm gonna do here is I wanna bring it all together. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna draw a, and sorry, I'm gonna cover up the art just for a bit, okay? Go over here and I'm gonna draw a slightly thicker line all around the outer edge, just slightly thicker by the way. Nothing too bold, just slightly thicker. Sorry if I'm covering stuff up. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like the art or if you like Kong. Um, ooh, I forgot like some texture here, right? Um, that's a snake part or a womb, womb, warbat part. But let me know what else you want to see, by the way. This was done from a request, okay? I want you to request something for me to draw, like a scene from a movie, maybe like a giant monster movie, something like that, or any Godzilla or King Kong movie. Let me know. Or even Sonic. I've been doing a lot of Sonic lately and those videos are going great. I, I noticed that everybody's very, very into Sonic lately and I'm really happy because Sonic is one of my favorite properties. Same thing goes for anything Godzilla or King Kong. I noticed those are doing very well because they're just amazing properties that people love. Let's go over here on this side first. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna take care of the left side almost entirely. Just gonna get that out of the way.
in here. So, <clears throat> line over here, there we go. Now you can actually see the drawing and kind of how it's coming together. And that's kind of the most rewarding part of this stuff is taking the time to, I'm gonna put a thicker line there, taking the time to kind of dot your I's and cross your T's. And that's always good in any art. If you have any art you wanna show me, let me know. Uh, you can always send it to the email. Uh, the email is omegaman20 at gmail.com. Omegaman was kind of my uh, pen name a lot online, but now I go by Sketch Monster if you ever find me on like Instagram. So I go by Sketch Monster. I want to thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure being here with you guys, and I will see you next time, okay? Let me know if you like this. Ooh, let me move this down. Thank you so much. I will talk to you in the next video. See you later. All right. And if you want to keep learning how to draw and keep pushing your skills, go right here to this video on here on this side. Um, that video I put because it's the exact same theme as the video you just saw. And it kind of, I like it as a bit of a pair. So absolutely go check that out right now. Another short video.